SWAT tactical. Got a few items for my Stag Arms Model 1. Got the AB Arms Mod 1 handguard. Magpul CTR stock. And a Magpul MS3 sling. First step in handling the firearm is making sure it's completely unloaded. First step in installing the Magpul CTR stock is removing the original one. To do this, you want to move it to the most rearward position. After you do that, hold it down and pull this circular thing up. And when you do that, it's going to slide right off the buffer tube. How that works is, is that cylinder fits in these holes. And when you adjust the stock, oops, hit the camera. It'll move down slightly so you can move it from different positions, but it will not come off the buffer tube. By pulling this up all the way, basically what happens is it will be smooth and allow it to come off the buffer tube. To install the Magpul CTR, you have to push in this tab and you want to pull down on there's just that on both sides so you want to have to put two fingers on each bar and pull down what that will do is do the exact same thing as the other one so I'm going to stick it on here push down and pull up on these two tabs and slide it right on So after you get it on, you want to check, make sure it clicks from each position, which it does. Then you want to test the friction lock, which works. Here's the overall look of the rifle. Then do an installation video on the AB Arms Mod 1 handguards. It's because it was difficult to keep it in the camera's view while on installing the original ones that came with it and installing them. But you can look up plenty of videos. Um, it would be a lot easier if I had the delta ring tool to help hold it down. Um, here's a standard handguard that came with the Stag Arms Model 1. Uh, they are pretty decent handguards. Uh, they've got dual heat shields as you can see. Um, the only problem I had with these is, was you couldn't add a flashlight to the side. So I went ahead and got that. I heard a lot of positive reviews. Um, so I went ahead and tried that out. I got the Magpul CTR stock on this. The Magpul Myad pistol grip. And the AB Arms Mod 1. Um, I'll do a separate review on each item after I test it out and take the rifle out to the range. Impression is they're nice. It's pretty sturdy. I thought it would have at least a little wiggle but don't really. It's hard to hard to move it at all um, it's got like a little palm swell here which I kinda like it's almost like a hand stop too so if you have a SBR um, you don't really have to add a vertical grip or anything to for a hand stop. You have a choice between the MOE or the Magpul CTR I would pay the extra money to get the CTR because the MOE rattles like this but the CTR has this friction lock so when you engage that basically takes all the rattle out I mean there's barely any like I don't even know if you could see that but basically makes it a lot sturdier so you don't have as much play when you're shooting. I wanted to talk about the Galco King Tuck real quick. Um, 
I've been using this for a while as you can tell. It's an excellent holster. Uh, I'll be doing a review on that hopefully soon. This is for the Glock 19, but be looking out for that.